Allah, muri mutiya bana Uganda. Njogere ri ne bana Uganda. Nabadde ndoza anti Yesu yali na had 12 disciples. But uh, out of millions and millions, Yesu had 12 disciples. He carried on until his last day and uh, until his life was taken over, job done, and he said, don't do as I do, but do as my father do. I think it's rather very, very important. Mjamo, hello, Jaja Mama, good morning. It's very, very important. It's very, very important. Hello, can we take, I think, the message, what is important than to take the person? I'm saying don't turn any P, no, don't turn revolution into commodity or commercial. That is my honest observation that we have got bloggers, they are after number, YouTube, subscribers, thumbs up video, thumbs up video. But what is the message there? We have got people signing deals, signing endorsement. Is that what we want? That is not what we want. People are turning revolution into a commodity. For sure it is a revolution because it goes spinning and spinning and spinning. So people are going to get off the track, but it is how we bring them back. I'm appealing to all NUP people, everybody, stop selling. Nope. Stop selling yourself. Take off the beret when you are going to sign deals, when you are going to sign endorsement. If you are signing any endorsement, and I can see a family member or a member of a person who was involved in abduction, kidnapping, in prison, in murder, I will endorse that and I will accept it 100%. But if I don't see anybody there, those people I have mentioned, take off the ready bread and you sign your deals and you get your endorsement and you will have blood money. Ugandans, we have to mobilize. We are into a difficult situation. Life is very, very difficult on the ground. Uganda are uh, all over the place. Uganda, they are going anywhere. Uganda, they are looking for daily food. It is very difficult for you to explain to them the word that please, can we go and do this and take out a dictator? Because the daily bread is not there. The energy, the conviction, the encouragement, the confidence, which is very important that you are taking me here. I can go out and I will come out. The confidence is not there. You can answer. It's upon us to mobilize and mobilize. If we can get one market, one woman market worker, that can in call, inspire other people to come in. So, Ugandans, we need to, to know this. We need to mobilize. Ourselves, we need to mobilize. I'm calling the bloggers of NUP to come away from the radical, to come away from the hitting, the infight, to fight leaders in NAP, that we fight the leaders in this National League, NRM. We have to fight our enemies. What do we mean by fight? We need to be confrontational. Confrontational, they say this, you, re you reply. You cannot allow Mike Mikula to say, we, they will not allow Baganda dogs to rule our country. I am a Muganda. There is no way. Where is the NUP spokesman? Where is any spokesman for other alternative political party to condemn that? We need to condemn that. So we need to mobilize. How are we going to mobilize? We are going to mobilize on the national issue. But there is one thing that is 
taking is stepping in our way our way that we are focusing on dealing what you call increasing judas uh, what in the party that is where you are going to waste the time we don't need to waste time on that i've always robbed it i've always asked the national unity platform please create help and support department where people they can go and take their issues there they can be sorted amicably within no time and people they will move on we don't need to put our rants into the public right now as i stand there is a hot potato of upcoming election that's what everybody is waiting that but that is not any wish or aim we never wished to go in 2026. We never wanted to go to 2026 and we don't want to go to 26. But reality, we are going to 2026 because there is a lack of any idea. There is a lack of enforcement to go on the uprise to find a way to stop going to election. So that is going to go to Ferdinand. What has he done? I heard him saying he's done something. But to me, he hasn't done something. I'm not going to start rewarding people when they haven't done anything. Mobilization. People on the ground, they are hunger. They are full of thirsty. They want to join. But if they want to join, what is the plan for them to join? What is the plan and the strategy for them? Where is the area where we are going to start? Are we going to mobilize in Kampala? Are we going to mobilize in Chenjojo? Are we going to mobilize in Massacre? Come on. We need to. There is upcoming by-election of where uh, Cecilia Guara. This is our moment that we go there on the ground, we mobilize. They will not give us the win, but the fact is that we mobilize, we show ourselves. If we are going in 2026, have we got 529 representatives who are genuine with the qualification with the money 3 million to give there? Do we have the councillors? Do we have those who are going to get the votes? Do we have the volunteers? Do we have the resources? Or you are just waiting for someone? So I repeat, don't make any big commercial, I'm telling you. Don't make it as a commodity. My president, don't accept the people to make it a commodity that a certifier is going to cost him money. That is not the way the morals and values of NUP. Anybody, don't allow to sell anything to do with you. When people they are taking money in Uganda, others they are sowing deals of millions and millions of money. So where is the difference? That's why I'm saying take off your beret. Take off your beret. And you sign deal, you get endorsement. Good luck. But you remember, there is bloodshed. Remember, families and friends, they are, they are, they are gripped in sorrow. They are traumatized. What is their sister, their brother, their mother, their father, their sister, their, their aunt, their uncle? But then you sign deals, you get endorsement. But then who are you representing? We are the people representing that. People, listen, don't take us for a ride. We are here to stay. We are watching everything. But if any UP, we want to be whiter than snow. Any UP, we want to be as good as possible. Any UP, we want to be a good example. Don't take people for granted. Especially people in Uganda now, they're asking, you haven't taken us. You haven't taken the man out. There is no plan and strategy. Let us not kid ourselves. Our president said never trust anybody, including himself. So for me, I'm going to trust the people when they do something. I'm going to give credit when people they do something. I'm not going to give credit before. We need to see something. We are many who want change. We are many who stand for change. We are many who have got ideas. We are many who are willing. So we are the people waiting for change. It's never, we are not running away from that. 
1,000 people can be enough. But what do we do? What do we do? Are you backing out? Why is it that every time it comes a time to press the button, then there is disappearance, then there is mood? That is what is bothering me, asking myself, what is all this? We get at the peak, then we pull out that peak with the cable. I won't say that much. I repeat, don't make NUP, don't make a revolution a commodity or commercial. It has never been like that. It will never be. Because the consequence, you will never forgive yourself. You will never forgive yourself. As we watch people who take money from seven, it's equally, even if there was, people were signing deals who are getting endorsement. We want to see NUP represented in a political manner that there is all there is like. Minister of Foreign Affairs, there is somebody for humanitarian, there is victims, friends, the children of Kauma, one should be paraded. That could make a big difference. Why can't we make that? Why can't we process a passport? Why can't we parade, parade these people? But if we don't, that is not, that is not what we want. Can you say you want to come on the video? So, we are in NUP, things are getting hotter on the ground, people they are deluded, people they are being taken away, but we are weak, I'm afraid. Why I'm saying we are weak, we cannot confront them. To confront all these national patriot elite, we cannot confront the parliament, the constitution, we cannot do, we are so weak, we are running away. What we are doing, we are regurgitating, we are mourning. Oh, Baba Siba, oh, Tebatu Kiriza. No, we need to show some aggression. We need to show some aggression when we are doing something like that. But if we are not prepared to do that, I think we are wasting a lot of energy. And we are giving the upper hand to our enemy. Instead of us, everybody is looking as NUP. We should be the lead, we should take the lead, we should do whatever we can to front ourselves as united, as focused, we look to a revolution. But if you are sitting there for one individual, you are wasting time. It takes two to tango. It doesn't take one person to tango. We need to go and go and look to seven. Yes, thanks, brother. We need, thanks, Jaja Mam. We need to look at one person. If we concentrate on one person, we are going to lose. Miserably. We are going to lose. And if we allow radicals in our center party, we are going to, we are going to lose quite a lot. But let us concentrate. I'm telling you, I'm begging you. People selling NUP, stop it. People selling our president, stop it. Our president appearance should be free. That is what they call the spirit of people power. Our people who want selfie with the president should be free. Don't make it commercial. You are going the wrong direction. There is no way our president is going to earn money through that. Our president will earn money through any means that which are, represents the values of NUP. Please, if anybody wants to do that, if anybody wants to sell cell fire, whatever, take off the red beret. That red beret is not permanent on somebody's head. Not only one person, no. We stand by NUP National Unity Platform. We are not going to be that is a one, one person party or a chintucho mwana, chintucho. No, it's not. Chintucha fe, we are stakeholders. I'm telling you, whether I'm unknown or known, I'm a stakeholder because I subscribe and somehow, somewhere, I've given my energy somewhere. I've given my time. I've spoken on part of that. I've done a few things. I don't need to be known or to mention. But however, I'm not making this commercial. Have mercy on those 28 people in prison. 
Have mercy on the families of friends of 18 people who are missing. Have mercy those who are nursing wounds at her. Have mercy on so many people who would like to join us, but they think they cannot join us. Because Thank you so much for watching. Share the video. Give your comments. Whichever language you use, I will reply. <laughs> I will reply any kind. I'm not into that fighting. We are not going to go there. We are national unity platform. We have to display behaviors of democratic. Being democratic, of dem do we have to show behaviors of democracy? We have to take the pain, the insults of people. We have to understand where they are coming from, but we should not stand for so long for those who have gone on to insult Uganda. That is a shame. I'm calling NFP leaders to condemn that in the strongest term. There is no way you can give an excuse. You do it, we are making mistakes. I did. People power, our power, our power, people power, NFP everywhere, everywhere. NFP.